Hello, this is N2EWS and welcome to my channel. Today I'm looking at the Quanzhang UVK5. From left to right you see the original UVK5. In the middle you see UVK599, whatever that means. And the UVK58 on the right, which is often called the UVK6. I have a love-hate relationship with these radios. So naturally, I'm going to start out with the things that I hate. Number one, the display. This display is not only ugly. The best you could do is have it turn off after five seconds. Some people like that because this blank display is easier to read in the sunlight. If I wanted that kind of behavior, I would just pull out my Baofeng UV, or actually the, it's the BF F8HP, which has the same sort of LCD display, which is easy to read in the sunlight. Modern radios, even Baofeng has come up with a nice color display, which is easy to read. And even better, the TID Radio F8 HP, which is not only a nice full color display, but it gives you the most possible information on one display. Channel name, frequency, channel number. The second thing I hate about these radios is the fact that it takes two keystrokes to do the most common operations. If, for example, I want to switch from Welcome. channel mode, channel mode to memory mode, I have to press F and then frequency 3 mode. to frequency mode. If I want to switch from A and B channels, I go F2. F5 gets me to the NOAA weather stations. F0 to FM. That's a trivial complaint, but most radios let you do that without having to press two keys. Now, I don't really mind for the NOAA radio, and I don't mind for FM, and I don't even mind for the frequency copy, which is F4. But for common operations like switching between the VFO and memory, I want one key to do it, and most radios give you one key to do it. This brings me to what I love about the radio, and that it, it is supremely hackable. There's a lot of custom firmware available for it. I have custom firmware on this UVK6 or UVK58, and it solves the problems I just talked about. For example, the display is on permanently. It doesn't time out at five seconds. If I want to switch between VFO and memory mode, I just hold down the key and it switches. No two keys necessary. Same thing with A and B. And even frequency copy, you just hold down the four key. Now let's take a look at the power output. On two meters, we're getting about 5.8 watts, which is above what it's rated. Now let's take a look at 70 centimeters. Four point four watts and GMRS channel sixteen three point nine four point one watts. Okay, now let's do a couple of audio tests. Radio TTH3 as the transmitter. Testing, testing one, two, three. I'm using the Baofeng UV17R as the transmitter. Testing, testing one, two, three. I'm using the Quanzhang UVK5 original as the transmitter. If 
Finally, I'm going to put up some screenshots of the spectral purity of the radio on 2 meters, 70 centimeters, and GMRS. And as always, uh, I have um, the same opinion that too many people have a tiny SA Ultra and freak out over harmonics that are above the 16.02 decibel line. I do not freak out about such things. So I would I would have no problem using this radio. You have to decide for yourself what you find is the most important approach to this. But as always, thank you for watching my channel. Please like and subscribe and tune in again. I've got some reviews of Balfang radios coming up and uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun with them.